Hey guys, so I have to be honest, ever since I updated my iPhone to iOS 16, the battery life just hasn't been the best. So it prompted me to look for new methods on how to improve the battery life on my iPhone. Now, if you feel the same way, then this video is definitely for you. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys tips and tricks on how to save battery life on your iPhone that I've noticed over time after using iOS 16 that are guaranteed to work to improve battery life on your iPhone. So let's just get right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and as always turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first option I want to talk about is a feature that Apple themselves have mentioned that if you do enable it and a lot of users have will drain the battery of your iPhone a lot quicker because a lot of people like this feature so if we go into settings and or right here under sound and haptics if we go to keyboard feedback this right here haptics is a new feature for the keyboard within iOS 16 that uses the taptic engine on your iPhone to provide feedback when you type on the keyboard however as it uses that taptic engine inside your iPhone a physical part it will drain the battery of your iphone quicker if you did enable this feature and you notice that your battery is draining slightly faster then you want to make sure you turn it off especially if you're going on long trips or things like that so if you really like the feature and you're not really taking long trips and you'll have charge throughout the day something somewhere where to plug you can definitely have it on but apple themselves have mentioned that if you use this feature over time throughout the day it will drain the battery of your iphone so just keep that in mind again that's going to be under sounds and haptics and then keyboard and feedback you want to turn off the haptics on the keyboard now if you have a newer iphone like an iphone 14 or 14 pro and you have the new always on display feature it is really cool to have it but of course always on display will consume slightly more battery on these devices than on devices that do not have this feature right if you want to turn off the always on display for whatever reason you want to go into display and brightness and right here you find the toggle turn off always on display and this could help you preserve battery slightly over time on your iPhone by turning this particular option off. Now speaking of displays, if you have a newer iPhone like an iPhone 13 or iPhone 14, you can always limit the frame rate on your iPhone as well if you're going to be away from a charger as well. So you want to go into the accessibility options and you want to go into motion and right here limit frame rate. This will set your iPhone's display to a maximum of 60 hertz refresh. Of course it can go all the way up to 120 so that is double. If you enable this it will just stay at 60 preserving battery life over time. As I mentioned if you're going to be away from any chargers if you're going on long trips you may want to enable the limit frame rate option on your device to preserve the battery now shifting my attention over to siri now siri is very helpful but i never use the custom siri command that's always listening to me in case i say those you know custom words that enable siri without having to touch my phone so i never use this option on my iphone i always use it on the home pods or around the house or around the studio so i want to go ahead and turn that off because that way siri isn't constantly listening for those those key words in order to be enabled and you also have some serious suggestions before you search so you want to go ahead and turn that off so it doesn't search the OS constantly for things that it thinks you may need before you need them now these are good options of course you want to make sure you think about this but I do not like these options because they drain the battery as they're constantly running in the background so yeah you can also go into Siri options to preserve the battery now if we go into privacy and security under location services you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find a system services now there's a few options I always turn off here number one is iPhone analytics this feature is on by default you want to go ahead and turn that off and routing and traffic if you don't use Apple Maps you can turn that off as well this is to improve the Apple services if you don't use those services like Apple Maps you can go ahead and turn those off it will improve the battery of your iPhone dramatically now here under significant location you want to go ahead and there it's gonna ask you for your face ID or touch ID once you enter you can go ahead and turn off significant location because this feature feature here what it does it is constantly tracking where you go every day in order to suggest things along the way right it sort of learns your patterns and it records places that you go significant locations I think number one that is a violation of privacy I don't like this feature I wish Apple would just tell users to uh, look into this before uh, they go ahead and start using their iPhone so significant locations should be turned off if you don't want the iPhone to sort of track you to give you suggestions yes it helps to sort of give you things that you may like in places that you kind constantly visit but at the same time 
I don't think many users are aware of this, that it's constantly tracking where you're going. And number one, number two, it's going to drain the battery of your iPhone a lot quicker if it is enabled as it is a location service. Now, another option that I found over time that will improve the battery life on your iPhone is under App Store. So if we go to App Store under Cell Data, Automatic Download Options right here for applications. If you go ahead and turn this particular option off, it won't download any app updates over the cell network. So when you're out and about, it won't be downloading app updates on your device. So it will only download the app updates when you get to maybe your home where there's Wi-Fi, which by the way, you'll probably already have somewhere to plug in your iPhone or at work when you're at Wi-Fi. So it would only do it over Wi-Fi, not over the cell network, draining your battery and using your data, by the way. So yeah, you can turn this feature off. I've noticed over time that this one does save a battery life. And last but not least, before you do any of that stuff, you wanna make sure that your battery health is up to date, right? Your battery is good enough to support a great battery health and a long battery over time. So you want to go ahead and head on over to the App Store and download the Apple support application. It is entirely free. Out of the list of devices, you want to go ahead and select your device and then you want to scroll down to where it says more and right here you're going to find the battery life category. Right here you can run a check on the performance of your battery, click run, and this will tell you if your battery is optimized for the best battery performance. That way you know that your battery is in maximum capacity, is in good shape, and you can continue using your iPhone to its maximum battery life capacity. This is a very, very important tip. Of course, this is something you wanna do before you even attempt to try any of these battery saving tips. So let me know what you think about these in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I guarantee that if you try these, they will work and improve battery life for you. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.